I received this, and I think a lot of people are talking about this, and I think it's something I should read because I know a lot of people are very sketchy about what's going on in this country. You feel as though the election, at the very least, was completely fraught with fraud. It was. Is it enough to overturn the election? Won't that be interesting to find out? I want to read this because I know that this is circulating and I want to leave you today with a little hope, with something, something to chew on, something to consider. And this is how it goes. It says, right now, President Trump is sitting on a stack of Trump cards or maybe Uno wild draw four for four more years that he's just waiting to lay down like a freaking royal flush. He has court cases still pending that will go to the Supreme Court. And thanks to Texas, the case in Texas, he now knows how to file it under Article 3 and not Article 2. And that will force them, the Supreme Court, to hear it. He has the DNI report coming out here imminently. Barr steps down on the 23rd. He can now be a witness. He did his job. Durham is a special counsel, can prosecute now in any state. Trump is letting civil, criminal, federal courts fail to handle the situa situation properly so he can use military tribunals. He has the data, all of it, from the NSA, from the Kraken supercomputer, the Alice supercomputer, probably a couple others we've yet to hear about as well. He has the dueling electors from seven state legislatures. He has Vice President Pence as the final arbiter of which ballots to accept. He has the Insurrection Act, the NDAA, the National Emergency, the 14th Amendment, his 2018 executive order, the 2017 first executive order, the Patriot Act, the FISA warrants, the declassification of everything, the sworn affidavits people signed onto by the thousands, the QR code scan guy who just needs access to some real ballots and he can detect if they're fake, he has all of the statistical data being analyzed, the videos, emails, phone calls, bank transfer statements showing the coordination of the coup. He has RICO. He has the Crimes Against Humanity videos. WikiLeaks just dropped a ton. Fact. They just did. And Assange will be pardoned so he can talk about Seth Rich. Now that the governors and secretaries of state certified the Biden, that Biden accepted, and Biden accepted rather, they committed and knowingly agreed to treason. Solar Winds just was raided. Dominion is closing up shop. Same with politicians and media. He has the servers used to change Dominion machines. He'll soon have access to the machines themselves. He baited them into staying in DC so they can be inaugurated. Oops, arrested. Biden hasn't accepted any transition money, nor has Kamala at this point, it was written, given up her seat. The military has infiltrated Antifa and Black Lives Matter, and he, Trump, has the financials. He knows which politicians took Chinese and Soros money. He'd put in Miller and Watnick. He also just reduced dumb regulations. He wrote an executive order in the military line of succession. He's just replaced Kissinger and Albright on the National Security Advisory Board with his loyalists. Facts. These are facts. The military has been flying more planes over America. The Navy just parked huge fleets on both coasts. The 82nd is prepared for an operation. This is the same group of Flynn and Donna, uh, uh, Flynn. Things are falling into place. He has it all. He's just laying out the case, building the narrative. He knows he won. He knows they cheated. He gave them the chance to fix things. They chose not to. Now they they all go down. Will that happen? I don't know. It sounds very promising in many ways. Because what's at stake here is not the future, not the fate of the future of Donald Trump. It is the fate in the future of our republic. It is that serious, and you know it.